Here with former light heavyweight champion Rashad Evans. Rashad, how are you doing? Great, man. Uh, yeah, very well, thank you, Rashad. Obviously, it's a very big card here. Um, you've spent, you lived in Chicago for a while, correct? Yeah, still got a place here. You still got a place here? Okay, so what's what's it like? Kind of home field advantage, not a home field advantage. What's what's the fight week feeling like for you? It feels great, man. I got to uh, relax a lot and you know, really relax and be at home. Um, you know, have a family here and stuff like that. So I, I enjoy it. You've obviously been in a lot of big fights. You've been on a lot of big cards. Where does this compare? Obviously, there's a good mix of veterans, you know, up-and-coming talent, you know, a little international feel as well. Where does this card compare? This is the, this is the biggest card I've ever been on. You know, well, I don't know. I've been on a lot of them, but this is definitely up there. This is definitely up there. I'm, I'm talking about from top to bottom, from like the very, very first fight to the last. I will say this is probably the strongest. Why, why do you think that is? I mean, I mean, you got myself, you got Clay Guida, you got, you know, uh, so, so many tough guys just on the preliminary, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it, you know, we've all headlined cards before, you know what I'm saying? So you know, from the start to finish, this is probably the strongest. So what's that like for you? This is kind of the first time in a long time you've been this far down the car, right? This is the first time yeah. I've been this far down yeah. the car. Uh, it's, it's good. It's good. I mean... I, at least I get to sit back and watch the fights. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's very true. Do you have a fight that you're personally looking forward to seeing the most? Um, no, nah, not really, man. Not no. really. I'm just going to just sit back and just be a fan and enjoy everything. Uh, you know, I love uh, uh, the title fight, Robert Whitaker and Romero. You know, Romero is one of my boys. I love to see Romero fight. And, uh, and Whitaker is super, super tough for becoming guy. So now I'm becoming a champion. And uh, I always say up and come a guy when, when I think of him because he came out of nowhere. Sure. But he, he's, he's definitely uh, proven himself over and over again. But uh, that's a great fight that I want to see. Where are you at in, in your career mentally going into this fight week? Is, is this Could this be the end for Rashad Evans? Could this be, could this be the last time? Or uh, You know, where am I mentally? I'm, I'm mentally good. You know, uh, could this be the last time? I don't know. But, uh, who knows? You know, who knows what, 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 this, what this holds in the store? You know, I, haven't, I haven't really put my mind on it and said this is going to be the last one or anything like that or even put that out there in the atmosphere. I'm just kind of going to go out there and compete and just let whatever happens happen. As long as I show up and do my thing, oh no, we'll see. We'll see what I'm left with and feeling on what I feel that with. What about with Michael Bisbing retiring? Obviously, you guys have your relationship <laughs> on, on the show as well. So does that add anything for you now seeing him, you know, and especially the response he got, right? Michael Bisbing always, you know, People sometimes have certain opinions, but an outpouring of, of support, you know, real nice. What are your thoughts on his retirement? I think it's great. Uh, athletes in the sport, you know, inside and outside the cage. Um, definitely misunderstood, but, but a great guy. And I'm just happy to see that, you know, he's, um, you know, he stepped away and now he's going to focus on other aspects of life. And what are your thoughts about Saturday night? How do you see the fight going? What are your thoughts on your opponent? Um, well, my opponent's very tough, and I think that, uh, you know, he's going to be a... Uh, He's going to come out and come after me, you know, and that's great. Is, is there any bit of you that goes go, to go back to your wrestling that you're based on? Obviously, he's a very tough striker as well, or are you going to try to pick your spots? I don't know. I'm going to see, I'm going to see whatever the fight presents, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's, uh, I, don't, I don't like to be like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm definitely speaking because a fight is, is, is very organic. You just kind of have to let it unfold, you know, sometimes. You know, he may, he may go in there and try to take me down, you know, so I have to be able to go in there and respond to whatever he's doing. So if I have my mind fixed on what I'm going to do too much, then I'm not able to make the adjustments that I need to when the fight is happening. Do you, you know, go at this point in your career, do you still watch a lot of tape leading up to a fight? How do you, you know, prepare? You know what? I don't, I don't watch any tape. No? Nah, I mean, I just have my tra trainers tell me what they see do, what they see, what they see does well. Um... But I've already watched, I've already watched him from, uh, before because I'm an analyst, so I've studied him uh, before. So I, I know, I know, I have a general idea of what he's, he's good at and what he does. Um, but one thing I don't like about about uh, you know watching film is that you know you, you get yourself caught in just thinking they're going to do one thing. And the camp is a long time, so he can make improvements just like I can make improvements. So if I have my mind set around what he's going to do, then I'm not able to see what he's actually capable of doing, which is 
lot more than he may have shown on film. I mean, you were a broadcaster. And